Okay guys, I want to show you some of the new functionality in GPT-4 that came out more recently, specifically the GPT Vision. In order to access this, you need to be paying uh, for GPT-4 and you'll have access to these additional features. And you can see you can browse with Bing and you have advanced data analysis, plugins, DALI 3, which can help you generate images. But in particular, you see this here, we can attach an image. But let's just attach this and then ask it, um, yeah, what movie does this come from? And it's really good at being able to reason from these things. One thing I would say is it's uh, relatively locked down, so it won't identify pictures of people, but, but it is very good at actually seeing what's going on. So here it, it says that it's part of the Alien franchise, the Xenomorph, and you could actually say, can uh, you describe the exoskeleton? Or whatever whatever you want to do uh, and you can uh, this is particularly fun on your phone as well you can take pictures and then upload them and get get interesting results this is really cool and i think particularly useful i'm going to show you guys another example you can say there we go so i'm just going to look for image of a blood test result this is just a fun thing that <laughs> i figured out uh, recently you can do um i'm just going to copy the image and um i'm going to paste this and say see what it comes back with <laughs> so it's pretty good at reading reports etc oh here we go read my report uh, is it bad Let's see what it says sometimes it is locked down and you might need to coax it a little bit or try again a few times but you know, usually it, it's not a capabilities issue it's pretty amazing if you think about it, this is just a picture of some data and so it's accurately transcribing the data and it, like doing some analysis on it which is pretty mind-blowing and it's telling me what's what's in range and what's not in range i didn't have to type any of this out i didn't have to get it in a spreadsheet format so i think this really changes a lot about what we can do it's also, uh, let, let's uh, say, visual uh, illusions. Let's see, let's see what it's what it's good at. Like it doesn't follow fall through a lot of the same problems as uh, as we fall for. Let me say, what is this a picture of? It's a uh, pretty interesting. I think what you can do. We have to. Okay, that's finished now. Uh, what is this a picture of? And hit, oh, I think I broke it. Still in beta. <laughs> Let me just download this. And then I'll upload it and see if that works better. This is our perception. Uh, now let's try, you know, what is this a picture of? And it's still uploading. So just wait for it to upload. Maybe it's quite a big file. It seems stuck. So let me just take a picture. So I'm just gonna take a screenshot here and then copy to my clipboard. Hopefully that's a bit faster. Yeah, here we go. All right, now it's working. Let's see what it says. Classic optical, optical illusion. So it knows about this in the data set, which is pretty cool. Yeah, and it tells you it's either a rabbit or a duck. Cool. Yeah, hopefully this is really interesting to you. Uh, feel free to use this for multiple use cases. There's a lot that you can do. And we're only really just uh, beginning with all the potential things that we could be using this for. So explore, enjoy, and let me know if you find anything interesting.